Hey, uh, David here from MrCracker.com. So I got an email from Dylan, and he's asking me, how do you get Backtrack 4 to work with Sun's Virtual Box? So I just decided to make a quick video and show you how to do it. It's pretty easy, actually. Um, so first up, go over to VirtualBox.org and download VirtualBox. They have it for um, Windows machines, OS X, Linux, Solaris. Um, so a bunch of uh, operating systems available. So download that, and then um, install it, and download the Backtrack 4 final release image and that is um, 1.57 gigabytes in size so it's a pretty hefty file so it might take you a little bit of a while to download that but go ahead and get that by the time you're watching this video maybe they came out with a new release um, doesn't matter the process is still the same so once you have these two downloaded and installed um, the software installed open it up and um, here on the left side hand side I have all my virtual machines that, I, that I've created in the past um, you can ignore that we'll make a new one and um, so we'll go to new. Next, give it a name, Backtrack 4, and operating system. It's a Linux operating system, and we'll say other Linux. Next, um, base memory size. How much memory or RAM space do you want to allocate to this operating system so that when you run it, it'll um, give it'll take a certain amount of your RAM and dedicate it to running this operating system. For Backtrack 4, it's actually um, it's la it's an upgrade to the last version so it requires a lot more memory so if you have if you have enough let's say you have two gigabytes give at least half of it to backtrack four I have around 3.5 gigabytes even though I actually have four but um, 32 bit Vista only only um, reads 3.5 so I'll give it around you know 1.1.7 and uh, actually I'll bring it down to one point doesn't really matter just give it a good amount so go to next um, here we're, we're going to create a hard disk for um, running backtrack and what this will do is it'll sub give you some of the space on your hard drive to running backtrack and it'll basically be just another an operating system run in a certain part of your disk so just create a new disk next um, dynamic expanding storage which means that it'll um, once once a certain amount is occupied it'll start to expand by itself and then we have fixed size storage so that you give it a certain fixed size and it would not it will not go past that size so um if you if you if you, if you have a lot of disk space then i guess you don't have to worry about it and create dynamic expanding storage but if you have a certain amount and you don't want to go past it then um you can stick with fixed size but if you go over then you won't be able to save or do anything else but um i'll choose dynamic expanding and I'll say about 8 gigs is about enough and backtrack 4 next and that's created and we finish and here on the side I have a new um, virtual machine called backtrack 4 okay so now we click on it and go on the right hand side here and we have a bunch of options here what we're going to click is CD slash DVD ROM and here we have an option mount CD slash DVD drive so normally when you create a an image on disk from the backtrack ISO you would put it in your computer and start and it would boot from that disk so basically what will happen is that it'll do the same kind of thing but in this virtual machine so um, what we'll do is we'll mount the CD slash DVD drive and instead of um, doing it from the actual disk on the computer we'll just do it right from the ISO image which we downloaded and we'll click on the side here and add it find it wherever it is you have it saved which is here for me um, click on it select here you see it's selected 1.46 gigabytes click OK and it's ready to go so all we do is click on backtrack 4 and click start and it'll start it up choose an option click answer and it'll boot backtrack 4 this is just a little warning that tells you about the it doesn't really matter but um here we have backtrack 4 starting up right inside of your host operating system we'll give it a minute to load I'll uh, I'll pause it until it finishes all right it's booted and we'll go ahead and start the graphics by typing in start x
and um, once your mouse is already in this screen you won't be able to get it out unless you click the right control button and once I click that I'm out back to the normal screen but um and click back in to get back inside but here you see I have Backtrack 4 already running within my Vista machine isn't that cool and from here what you can do is actually run the install script by clicking on the install the sh and what it'll do is it'll install backtrack into that 8 gigabytes that I dedicated to backtrack so next time you want to boot up backtrack you won't have to um you won't have to run it from disk and so that means that you can, right now if I were to do a bunch of stuff and save it it'll actually be saved if I install backtrack and um so I, what I would do is actually run it run the installer and install it and if you choose to run the installer and install backtrack then what you'll have to do is unmount the ISO image so that next time you boot it up it won't run from ISO but from the actual disk space that you made for backtrack 4 where it is already installed and I'll show you how to do that so um, I'll, I'll click the right control key to jump out of this um, screen and um, click X and just power off this machine and it'll power it off and then you'd go to back to CD slash DVD ROM click on that and just uncheck the mount button and click OK and next time you start it it'll run off from the installation that you did if you did install it and that's just that's how it is as simple as it is um, not that hard um, so if you want to do it go ahead and get it I'll have the links below the video or above it I don't know yet I haven't put the post up but um, I'll have the links for both backtrack and a virtual machine or a virtual box there it's actually both free so it's pretty awesome so that's all for this video hope you enjoyed it learned something new goodbye